Hello everyone, Mike Grempel from Excel Bytes with today's Excel Bytes blog post. Recently I did a tutorial called How to Count Items Across Multiple Worksheets in Excel. And that showed how to count the number of times a certain word or text item appeared in a range across multiple worksheets. In this tutorial, we're going to call it how to count specific cells across multiple worksheets because we're going to see how to count how many times a certain item appears in a single cell in a range across multiple worksheets. So let's see how to do that in Excel. So here's our scenario. On the summary worksheet, I have a grid here that has 10 products, 10 customers. And I have four worksheets, Jack, Sue, Tony, and Mary. And I've listed the names of those worksheets here. And as you can see, if we go through them, Jack has some X's and Y's scattered. Same with Sue, Tony, and Mary. So what I want to do is in each cell, for example, in cell F4, how many times is there an X? And I have an X here in cell A1. How many times does that appear in cell F4 across those four worksheets? Here in cell G5, it's three times as X appear in that. So here's the formula that we're going to use. It's a sum product formula with count if and indirect. And I learned this formula from a user called Jason B75 on the Mr. Excel forum which is a great resource if you're having any struggles or problems with how to solve an Excel issue. So here's how this works. So the indirect function will take and convert a text string to a usable string within Excel. So our reference here, which concatenates a apostrophe and my sheets and RC. And if I hit F9, you'll see I get the names of the worksheets, Jack, Sue, Tony, and Mary, exclamation point RC. Now the reason it gives me the sheet names is because I created a named range called My Sheets. You see when I highlight that, Jack, Sue, Tony, and Mary, the name of my four worksheets, is highlighted. Or if I go to my name box and I select My Sheets, you see My Sheets is the name of that range from A14 to A17. So again, in the formula, it's going to concatenate an apostrophe, My Sheets, which are the four sheet names, and an exclamation point and RC. Now what is with the RC? Well, within a formula, the RC is a reference that gives the R1C1, which is the row and column indicator for the same cell address as the one holding the formula, regardless of where it is on the sheet. So if we take a look at the indirect function and I highlight that reference text again and hit F9, you'll see it's going to give me the worksheet jack and the cell RC because again RC indicates the cell address for wherever that formula is located. In this case it is G5. Notice also the second argument of the indirect function A1 I have it as zero. That's an optional argument with indirect. If you leave it blank it's going to resolve to true which is the A1 cell reference. However, if you make it false or zero, it will resolve to the R1C1 reference. So in this case, with it being a zero, that'll be the R1C1 reference, and that's why I concatenate it in RC, which will give me the cell location wherever that formula is located. And so in this case, if I select in my count if function, the range, and hit F9, you'll see I get 0, X, X, and X. So if we take a look at the cell G5 in the four succeeding worksheets, here it's blank, that was the 0, 
and then I have an X there, an X there, and an X there, and that is why I get a count of three. Now, I also had Ys scattered out through the various worksheets, so if I change the count if reference here from an X to a Y, notice the values change, and now it's counting how many times Y appears in each one of those cells on the succeeding worksheets. And that's how you can use this process in Excel. So thanks for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please do so at my website, excel-bytes.com, or at any of the social networks noted below. Thanks a lot, have a great day, and happy Excelling!